Hey, how's it going, you guys? So, this is an introduction to my channel. Uh, I'm in Fortaleza. I'm an expat worker. I do software development, web development, and server management. Server configurations. I guess you could call it system administration. But mainly it's web development. Um, and, you know, in JavaScript and PHP and that and that stuff. So I live remotely. I've been living remotely for, well, since uh, about five months into the pandemic. And it's working out quite well for me. I mean, in terms of the travel, my, my salary's fine. Uh, I'm in Fortaleza, Brazil. It's a very sunny place, Fortaleza. So, on this channel, I am going to talk about uh, little things involved in living. I'm an American. Uh, living as an expat. Um, American, Canadian, Australian, you know, what have you, in Brazil. Now, I have a number of other channels because I've been in a number of different other countries. Now, one thing to note, I came to Brazil and I lived here the first time was in 2001, 2002, 2003. Um... And the circumstances were different. Uh, I would come down sometimes for a year, sometimes for four months. Uh, and it was more back and forth. But now, since the pandemic, I've been living abroad for it's just about two years. Um, by the way, guys, Fortaleza, I, I, I previously, I lived in Rio de Janeiro long, long ago, uh, and I've been to Salvador, um, and I had come briefly to Fortaleza, you know, for two weeks or three weeks, I can't remember exactly, it was so long ago, um, and I liked it, it was more, it had a slower pace, and the reason I've come back this time is because I have become very interested in weather patterns. I love sun. I mean, I'm a, I'm a real sun worshiper. You know, you hear about these snowbirds. You know, I'm in my early 50s, right? So, as I've gotten older, I've come to really appreciate sunshine. I just love, I always did. But it's, because, it's even more so these days. I mean, you know, there's a reason people go running down to Florida in the winters. I remember my grandparents, they had a place in Southern California in Palm Springs. And just every year, they would go down there for six months during the winter months. I'm from Seattle. So, you know, and as are both sides of my family from Seattle. Uh, and so we all would try to, or they all would try to escape the rain. It was cold, cold times. So Fortaleza has got a lot of benefits. Right now I'm in the Aldeota area. Uh, I've been here for about six weeks right now. Uh, we're staying in a small hotel. So I, uh, I'm gonna talk about things like, all right, CPF. You need to get a CPF number in Brazil. Well, how would you do that exactly? I'm gonna get into details like that because there was a bit of rigmarole and by golly, I couldn't get data on my phone to use Uber for the first three weeks. I had to schedule an appointment, come back, do this. Then they had a holiday, come back another time. Then once you get your CPF number, it's got about three days to clear the system, blah, blah, blah. Before that time, no way to get a phone number. Not only that, whenever you purchase things, you go into different places to get a service, join a gym, and they pester you for that CPF, right? And there are lots of circumstances in which you can't make the purchase. Now, of course, not things like when you go into a grocery store, 
that stuff like that. But there are lots of situations in which you will not be allowed to make your purchase without a CPF. And you definitely can do it as a tourist, but it's a little bit of a pain in the ass. And you will get it. They will give it to you, but you know, it's some bureaucracy. So that's the sort of stuff that I'm going to talk about on this channel. Okay, guys, have a good day. It is uh, August 1st, 2022 in Fortaleza, Brazil.